everybody, it's me, Leisha Bug. Thank you for coming back today and joining me. We are going to be making some of this delicious Kool-Aid candy. This is so fun and it's so good. So let's get right into it. First of all, we're going to take a cup and a half of sugar and add it to a pan. Make sure you do not have your heat on just yet. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. And I'm going to give that a stir and make sure my ingredients are mixed together pretty good. You want your cornstarch and sugar mixed together really good. Next, I'm going to add a half a cup of light corn syrup. And then I'm going to add three-fourths cup of water and give all of this a stir until your sugar is almost dissolved. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. And then I'm going to turn my heat on medium and I'm going to let this slowly come to a boil. You don't want to make this come to a boil too fast because your candy can burn or your sugar will burn and caramelize. So just let this slowly come to a boil. You're going to need a candy thermometer. I got this one at Michael's for about $4. And after your candy starts to boil, you just want to stick it in and you want to let your sugar heat up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. This is very important because this is what makes the consistency of your candy. So you don't want to overcook it and you don't want to undercook it. So 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's reached 250 degrees Fahrenheit, then you can turn your heat off. And we're just going to move it off of the heat. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to stir this really good until my vanilla is completely dissolved. And then since I'm making three different flavors, I'm going to separate this into three different bowls. So I'm going to try to get as close to an even amount in each bowl if I don't oh well but my three flavors as you can see are orange blue raspberry lemonade and watermelon so after I have my bowls all distributed evenly then I'm going to pour my package of kool-aid into each one I used the whole package here but my candy turned out really really sweet it was really good but it was really sweet so I actually recommend only using half a pack for this amount of candy. If you were going to do one full batch of what I did instead of separating it, use a whole package. But since I divided it into three separate parts, I should have only used half a package of Kool-Aid. So after you have your Kool-Aid in each bowl, then you're going to stir each one until all of your Kool-Aid is dissolved completely. You want the color to be bright and pretty and you want the flavor to be evenly distributed so all of your candy has that really good taste. So I'm just going to mix this together really good, and then I'm going to mix my blue one and my orange one. As you can see here, it's already starting to thicken up, but you want to let this sit for about 15 minutes before you actually try to touch it because it is hot and it does cool down, but you don't want to burn yourself. So here's all three of my flavors mixed together and they've been sitting for about 15 minutes. So you can see on camera that even they look thicker now too. So I'm just going to move them onto the side and place down some wax paper so that I don't make a mess all over my cabinet because this stuff gets really sticky. So after I have my wax paper down, I'm going to take some more butter and I'm just going to coat my hands with this stuff because this candy, like I said, it gets really, really sticky and really messy. So coating your hands with this butter is going to make it to where it kind of slides off your hands where it won't be sticking to your fingers and everything. So give yourself a generous amount and cover your hands. Then I'm going to take my spatula and I'm just going to stir my candy and you can see here just how thick it is. And after I see that it's thick enough to actually play with, then give it a little touch. And if it's cool enough to touch, then go ahead and dig on in there. And I'm just going to pull all this out and just start working it. 
Now, I wish I could have showed you the pink candy on camera, but my battery died without me knowing. So, here's the blue one, and the pink one looks exactly like the blue one. You'll see it later. But the consistency is really good. I was really happy with the way it turned out. I just have to keep adding a little bit of butter until it doesn't stick to my hands, and I'm just working it and working it until it's firm enough to not drip all over the place. This is a lot like the slime. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it in the description below on how we made slime, but it's a lot like the consistency of that. Here's my orange one, and this turned out really good too. I really like the colors. It smells so good in here, and I can't believe the taste. It's just so, so good. Incredibly sweet, but really, really good. So after I got done with all my candy, just for experimental purposes, I had a few candy molds that I used, and here are a few little flowers, and I just stuck my candy down inside here, and I stuck it in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes just to see if it would hold its shape. So here they are, cooled off and out of the freezer, and I'm just going to pop them out so you can see here how they turned out. And I have to say, I was really, really excited and bummed at the same time because they held their shape really good when I popped them out and I was so excited I thought they were going to stay that way but sitting just in room temperature after a few minutes they started to turn into candy blobs so they did not hold the flower shape but it was pretty cool to see that they did maintain the shape for a little while I think after a couple days if you would let them sit, they'd hold their shape. Here are my lollipops. I did the same way in the mold, refrigerated, and then popped out. And I actually kept these in the refrigerator, and they stayed. Um, they held their shape the whole time until they got eaten by my kids. And then here are the spoons. And the same with them. They really didn't make it past 24 hours, but the time that they did sit in the refrigerator, they held their shape pretty good. So if you're not going to eat these right away, I recommend keeping them in a cool, nice and cool place. But after a couple days, this stuff does stiffen up and become like a real taffy candy. So I hope that you enjoy it. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more videos like this later. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. See you later. Bye!